so today I thought I would do a bit of a pregnancy update because I haven't really done any pregnancy updates since I've been pregnant. I'm now 24 weeks pregnant. I cannot believe. I am almost in my third trimester. What the hell? So for anybody that's new to my channel, I am pregnant with my second baby. I have got a two and a half year old boy and I'm having a little girl in April this year. And this pregnancy wasn't the easiest pregnancy to try and conceive with. I have got polycystic ovarian syndrome and a pituitary gland tumor that is benign that stopped me from falling pregnant for over two years. But I'll do a whole video about that another day. Today, I mainly just wanted to chat about what has been happening in my pregnancy, how I'm feeling, some little hiccups that I've had along the way because it hasn't been smooth sailing. It hasn't been a hard pregnancy by any means, but compared to my son, who was like a unicorn pregnancy, it's been very different. So to start off with, I thought I would just compare how I found out that I was pregnant with my two pregnancies. The first with William, I we were trying for over a year and I was told to lose weight, so I had tried to. And anyway, I was going on a fat burner walk, just, you know, listening to my music. And then all of a sudden it felt like someone had come up and pushed me in the chest and I kind of lost my breath. And all of a sudden I was like, <gasps> I'm pregnant. And I just knew, I, I had no symptoms, but I just knew that I was pregnant and it was just crazy. And I was so scared to do a test. So I didn't do one for about six days. And then I did one and all of a sudden the lines came up really dark pink straight away. And I knew I was pregnant. Like I just knew straight away. However, with this pregnancy with this little girl has been very different. I had no idea that I was pregnant. I had a really shitty ass sleep the night before I found out that I was having a baby and I knew I was like around about due for my period. I, I lost my period and it came back and it was coming every like six to eight weeks and it was probably about the six and a half week mark. So I just thought I'll do a pregnancy test just to rule it out. I absolutely did not expect it to come up positive. You can actually go back and watch my pregnancy announcement video, which I'll link in the description below. But when the two pink lines came up, I was shocked. I was utterly shocked i did not feel pregnant at all and it took probably about a good week a week and a half for any symptoms to come up but when they did oh my god they were crazy i had no morning sickness with my son and this one i was exhausted like beyond exhausted i had food aversion like you would not believe i did have some food aversion with will who's my two and a half year old however this was like next level i could not cook anything for myself i couldn't even make a smoothie i couldn't make any porridge i couldn't make anything so for a solid 10 weeks my family ate takeaway because kyle can't cook and i there was absolutely no way that i could have accommodated to my food aversion on top of that i have been craving sweet things right up until about two weeks ago especially donuts but any sweet things before that, oh my goodness, I just could not get enough. Now it's like leveled out and I'm feeling pretty good with my eating. I'm not craving too much and my food aversion isn't too bad now. But yeah, like I said now, I can eat pretty much whatever I want to. The food aversion that I had the worst was chicken and I'm slowly able to eat chicken. I'm still very, very fussy with it, but not so much. During that first like, you know, six to probably... 15 week mark i was eating a lot of vegetarian and vegan food just because i just went off meat completely and even though i'm not quite back there i am slowly being able to tolerate more meat so thank goodness my eating has just behaved itself and i'm feeling a little bit more like myself now which is great next thing i wanted to talk about is my skin oh my god my skin was horrifically bad i was red i was blotchy i had eczema everywhere but especially on my face i've never ever been one to ever have bad skin on my face and it was just so epically bad and it made me feel so self-conscious they say little girls steal your beauty and i'm actually believing that's true now thank goodness i found a good skin care regime i'm now using the clean skin movement day and night it's an all natural vegan synthetic and chemical free skincare range it's absolutely beautiful and it keeps my my skin looking really really good i still have some bad days i've got some redness and dryness around my eyes at the moment and my skin's a little bit bumpy however it wasn't as bad i had no skin problems with william so that was like brand new to me my hormones and emotions holy shit i feel so sorry for kyle and william and anyone else that's close to me because i have gone absolutely batshit crazy during this pregnancy i am going from hot to cold happy to sad excited to i don't know low in a matter of like hours it is exhausting trying to keep up with my own emotions and i'm so aware of how irritable and anxious and 
angry that I'm getting sometimes, but holy crap, I just can't control it. I even asked Kyle if I was like this when I was pregnant with Will and he said no. So <laughs> something is going on and it's making me bloody tick and it's driving me absolutely insane. One of my girlfriends, Alex, told me that she believes that this happens because there's like twice the amount of female hormones like pumping through your body and you just feel all the feels and it is so bloody true. I wish that I could say that it was getting better but it's really not. I've tried to put some remedies in place. I'm trying to be out in nature more, go down to the beach more because I know those things always clear my mind. I'm working on myself some more because I know that if I have positive focus and little action steps to take, I will feel better. I'm also using my crystals. I'm meditating. I am taking time out for myself. We've put William into an extra day at daycare so I have a day to myself every week. But man, just sometimes, even that doesn't help my mood swings. Oh my God. Some positives I can report from this pregnancy is the movement of the baby. I have been able to feel my little baby kicking and moving around since I was about 14 weeks pregnant. However, it wasn't very strong. The best way I can describe it is, you know when you just need to pass some wind or go do a poop and you get like that bubbly feeling in your bowels and your tummy? That's what I was feeling at about 14 weeks. However, I wasn't passing wind and I wasn't pooping, so I knew it was my baby. And the most incredible thing is that I am feeling the kicks and the movement so much stronger at this gestation. I started feeling William at 17 weeks and it was like a little popping all the time in my tummy and that he was not as strong as this little girl at this gestation. And it's been absolutely amazing. The bonding that I've been able to have with Kyle and this baby have been so special because every night he's been able to put his hand on my tummy and actually feel her kicking and moving around. And that's not something that he got with William very much. Will was a very stubborn little baby and whenever people would come and put their hand on my tummy when he was moving, he would literally just stop. It was crazy. It was like he just did not want anyone to touch him. It was crazy. But this little girl, she has had so many people feel her moving and it has been so, so special. I've loved every second of every kick and every movement that I've felt. Another beautiful experience, as you guys would know if you see my gender reveal video, which I'll also leave in the description below, is that we found out the gender of our baby, which of course is a little girl. With William, I found out he was a boy via emergency C-section and some nurse screamed out it's a boy before I even had a chance to look at him. I had carried him for nine months and all I wanted was that moment to look up and see if my baby had a little pee pee or a little wee and I didn't get it. That moment was taken from me and I will never be able to get that back. I found out of someone else that my baby was a boy. So Kyle and I decided that this time around we would find out what we were having, take that moment and own it ourselves and it was so, so special. However, the difference between my pregnancy with Will and my pregnancy with this little girl is that I kind of knew that I was having a boy with Will. Like even to the point when we brought him home from hospital, I noticed that I had actually dressed the nursery in a boy theme rather than a gender neutral theme or a girl theme. It was crazy. I just I just said to Kyle the whole way through, like, I think it's a boy. I think it's going to be a boy. However, with this one, again, I thought I was having a boy. I was convinced. I was thinking about boy names. I was, like, looking at boy nurseries. And the gender reveal happened, and I was having a girl. I was so shocked that I actually couldn't believe it for a very long time. <laughs> I was so happy. Don't get me wrong. But it was just I was really expecting a boy. And when we found out that we were having a girl, it was like a dream come true. And I was just so, so petrified that that bubble would burst but then we went to the 20 week scan and they confirmed it's a girl while we're on the topic of the 20 week scan we went when i was about 21 weeks pregnant and it was amazing it was so beautiful i was a little bit emotional because with every scan i always get a little bit worried that something's going to go wrong but she was absolutely perfect when they measure a baby in your tummy they take a circumference measurement of their head and that will tell you just about the gestation of the baby when they did my little girls she's measuring about five to six days bigger with her head circumference than she should be. However, her body and her limbs are measuring two weeks bigger than what she should be. She is so big that the sonographer is actually considering moving my due date because she is enormous. She is a bloody giant. It comes as no surprise because William was always so big. He was always measuring so much bigger at every scan. However, I don't believe I remember or recall him ever being two weeks in front of what he should have been. So that was a little bit of a shock. I haven't seen my obstetrician just yet, but I've got an appointment I think in the next week or so and we will discuss moving my due date. I'm not too keen on moving my due date because with William, 
they moved it from the 19th of March to the 14th of March because he was measuring a little bit bigger. However, he was born on the 19th of March on his first estimated delivery date. So even if they do change my delivery date, I don't really care because it's just a number. We all know babies don't come on time. So we'll just see what happens. The only real problem that I've had during this pregnancy, like an actual problem, there's, there's two actually. One's confirmed and one's not confirmed. Since Christmas Day, I've not been feeling physically the greatest i've been having a lot of tiredness i've had about two kilos weight gain for absolutely no reason i've done no nothing different i didn't even binge over the christmas period and i've been having intermittent swelling throughout my whole body the swelling i got with will so i knew that that was probably something i was going to experience however i got that in my you know 35 week pregnant mark i started feeling this when i was about 22 23 weeks pregnant and i thought something's going on right now i've also been peeing like a trooper thirsty all the time I've also been checking my fasting blood sugars at work. They're high. Most of my sugars that I have tested at work have been just at the limit of normal for fasting or just a little bit above. So I have a very sneaking suspicion that I'm going to develop gestational diabetes. This is not something that I have talked about to my obstetrician just yet. However, I have got three risk factors of getting gestational diabetes. First of all, I have PCOS. Second of all, I have issues with my pituitary gland, which is a hormone regulator. It affects insulin, which of course, is tied in with diabetes. Third of all, I'm actually technically obese. I don't think I'm a big woman. However, as per the BMI, which is what all the stupid doctors go off, I am classified as obese. So that is a third risk factor for gestational diabetes. They think that I might have it and that I'm going to have to get the glucose tolerance test probably in the next couple of weeks rather than waiting to 28 weeks pregnant. And the only reason I know this is because I had an issue the other day. On Christmas night, I was at work and... I wasn't doing anything in particular. I was just kind of walking around and all of a sudden I felt this gush in my pants. And prior to that, I had been leaking fluids for about four or five days without thinking too much of it. But when the gush happened, it really did scare me. And it was so big that it actually made me look like I had wet my pants. So thankfully I was at work. I rang the maternity ward and I spoke to one of the midwives up there to say, hey, look, this has just happened and I'm not really too sure what to do. And thankfully my in charge let me go on a break so I could go and get everything checked and tested. Kyle was also at work so he came up the maternity ward with me. When I got up there they said that it could be two things. It could just be my hind waters. They called it something starting with L. I'm going to have to look it up. Or it could be the fact that my waters have broken. So what they wanted to do was monitor the baby and see what was happening. They asked me if I had any pain and I said no. And they asked me if I had felt like Braxton Hicks or some sort of like cramping in the days leading up to it and I had so I said yes. So they they were a little bit concerned. Put the CTG monitoring on. Nothing crazy was happening. Baby he had a beautiful heart rate she was you know kicking along really well the midwife wanted the doctor to come see me so the gynecologist came in and she explained to me that you know it could have been my waters breaking she said if I had any complications that in my pregnancy with Will or this one and I said no so she had to go in with a speculum and swab my near my cervix and check my cervix to see if it had started dilating and it hadn't thank goodness she also then took a swab and the swab can instantly tell you whether or not it's your, your hind waters or your actual waters and thank Thankfully, the test came back negative. However, for that five minute period, I was panicking because they very kindly explained to me that if I had gone into labor, there wasn't really too much they could do for me. I was 23 weeks at the time and they said that it, it would just not end very well. So I was panicking. I was trying not to cry. Kyle was there holding my hand and it was just a really scary wake up call that you know, life is precious and just because you're pregnant and you get so far into pregnancy doesn't mean that you're safe. Anything can happen at any time. Thankfully, the test came back as being my hind waters. Everything was fine. I could go back to work absolutely perfectly. But while I was there, I did have a chat to the doctor about how I was feeling and the fact that my sugars had gone up so high. And that's when she told me that she believes that I may have gestational diabetes and to get it checked out. So yeah, that's kind of what's been happening with this pregnancy. I've just been like really tired really cranky, craving sweet food, and it's been crazy. My weight gain hasn't been too bad. I've put on six kilos now at 24 weeks gestation. My doctors only want me to put on a total of 10 kilos, which I am really nervous about because I still have 16 weeks to go and only four more kilos to be able to use up before I get to the 10 kilo mark. I only put on 15 kilos with Will, so I'm not too concerned. However, I didn't really want to put on six kilos at this point. I put on two kilos in that two weeks that I told you about. 
other than that everything's been going pretty well so I'm gonna have to amp up some exercise really concentrate on what I'm eating and nourish my body properly and make sure I'm choosing the right foods and just trying to steer clear of all of my pregnancy cravings so anyway guys that's the end of this video if you've liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later